Hello, and welcome back to Taya's YouTube. As you can see behind me, I've got all the mountainous backdrops completed that I was speaking about in the earlier videos. These were all done this week, I've got them all done, and I set them up just to see how they would look, and I'm quite impressed. I really quite like the look. So my next step will be to take this all down and put up the uh, night sky in, in behind the backdrop. And then once the night sky is completely installed with the twinkling stars and so on, then we'll put the mountainous backdrop back up or we will do the shelving first and then put the mountainous backdrop back up. I, as you can see, I have one shelf here installed. I'm not particularly 100% happy with it, so I'm going to experiment with it a little bit. This one is a thinner one than I had last year. Last year I used two inches, this one is one inch. Um, and I'm thinking that perhaps I'll go back to the two inches. I'm not quite, quite satisfied with this. It also has quite an overhang, so I'm not quite sure how that's going to work. In any case, this is not what I'm planning to do today. I have another project on the go today. You will remember in the last video that I showed you a time-lapse video on how to build a station out of a piece of styrofoam. Well, today, I have this piece of styrofoam that I salvaged from a package, a large package. My neighbor ordered a new te uh, television and I cleaned the packing styrofoam from the television that it came in. And this is a very solid piece of styrofoam, but very light. Um, I had ideas of how to use the packing pieces that I got from, from that box. Uh, and I thought this would make a great train tunnel. At first I had it as a U-shape, a complete tunnel with a back wall, but uh, because it took up so much space on the shelf, I took that back wall off, and now it's just an L-shaped, an L-shaped tunnel. And I carved all the inside pieces off to make it smooth. Well, it's kind of smooth. And I, I took all the nubs and all the other pieces off that, that were really not useful. Now I'm going to time lapse video and show you how I'm going to make this look like a natural type of tunnel. Uh, same sort of thing as I did with the uh, tram station. But I will be painting this as if it's, um, it's cladding of some kind and then perhaps the brickwork in between. Not quite sure yet how that's going to work. But stay tuned and we'll get that project completed and then we can go on and do the uh, night sky posters up on the back behind the mountainous backdrop.